I taught them like, I don't know, the little things where if I tell them to do something, then they'll do it. Mm-hmm. Or if, and mostly for their safety, because that was the yeah. biggest thing for me. When you have that many little kids at once and you don't have any older kids to help you do it, if you are going out in public, if you're going to the grocery store and everything, the park, anywhere. like you think, exactly, and you think, oh, well, it's stressful, yeah, but no, there's danger involved mm-hmm. if you don't train them. Yep. Right? Yep. And if you're like, if you can't even go somewhere without knowing that they are going to stay by you or that if they start walking away and you call their name, if they're not going to come back to you, it's... There's so much fear and stress that comes with it. And it just makes you not want to go anywhere or do anything. Mm -hmm. But when you're in that phase of life with that many babies, you have to go out. You have to get social and do stuff. Otherwise, you go insane. I remember taking like eight kids to the grocery store. It's tough. And everybody's like, you're crazy. But I'm like, if you don't do this training period, Mm -hmm. who are they going to be? What's your life going to be like later? Like Mm -hmm. you have to get that down. Yeah, if I try to think of it, think like putting myself back to that point, it does feel a little bit like, I don't want to do that again, (laughs) you know? Yeah. Like, it's not that I don't want to go back, but I just don't, it was a lot of work and I loved it then, but experiencing life now is like, wow, this is good. Yeah. But I will say the only reason that I feel like that we're able to do this is because of the training that we put into place when we only had babies. We didn't even know what we were doing, <laughs> but we did it. Now looking right. back, you're like, how did we do that? And here I we know. Go. But then it's like, thank goodness. Right. Thank goodness we did that. Yeah. Because I don't know that I would be able to handle it right now. Do you think that your age, that's what I'm wondering though, is it like, because I'm like old now. Maybe. Like the energy that we had in our, like our young 20s. That's true. And like we were like powering through. I remember I had that's a lot of true. energy. I could go. I go, did go. have a lot of energy. And I always. Even through all the pregnancies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Maybe that's it. So maybe then the takeaway is to start your families young (laughs) and then just like go. One of the things that I've always said, though, is once you're going, like one more isn't that hard. Yeah. You're already there doing it anyways. And then I don't know, where did you, at what point did you feel like, whoa, life is so much easier, even though you're still having babies? Um, Probably when my oldest was even eight. I, I think I had that. them pretty trained. I probably had lots of little ones. When I say you train them that they will, you know, do what I say when I yeah. tell them to do. Like, I still have the little babies that I have to work on that with them for the same reasons. Yeah. Because when Don't we go out, up. you know, exactly. And and that's uh, the thing. Like, I didn't realize how much I was on top of it mm-hmm. and then kind of slacked off mm-hmm. until you start to see it. Yep. And you're like what i thought oh we already did God. this I no know. you go out in public and you're like hey stay by me and you turn around and they're walking away and you're like i thought yeah i thought that we we worked on this <laughs> i thought it would just rub off onto the little ones <laughs> no which it kind of does like but then it's like do i have to do this with every single kid basically <laughs> no. so that's what i mean like yeah. it's not really i'm not done but i have so much help mm-hmm it's not, I'm not in it alone. And you earned that help. Yeah. I'm proud of it. Like exactly. I earned where I am. Okay. Exactly. Because I did so much with the first ones. But yeah. like I said, it wasn't a bad thing because yeah. they are loving it. Yeah. When we go to the store, it is like, okay, you are on this one. You are on that one. You're on this mm-hmm. one. But they aren't like, uh, yeah. they're not like, oh, I have to stick with them. They're like, oh, yay, okay, you come with me. And they'll take them to the shopping aisles that they want to go see. Yeah. And they just... I don't know. And I love seeing that. Yeah. I love seeing that they are happy siblings. It just makes me so happy. But do you know where they get that from? I think they get it from like the parents, seeing that the parents are all like, we have to go to the store, you guys. Like if you make it a fun, exciting thing for them, then they're going to like pass that on to the little kids. That's true. So sometimes when I'm super grouchy, I see my older kids getting grouchy with my younger ones. I'm like, hey, now, hey, now we don't act that way. We (laughs) don't act that way. (laughs) 